Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of all things reviewed, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's get into it. Alright, so it is uh, July 22nd, 2020. What a wonderful year, COVID-19, all that crap. Um, it's been a while for my or since my last video and there's some really good reasons why uh, Last September I was involved in a motorcycle accident. I was uh, hit by a, a novice driver who ran a stop sign and I ended up t-boning her broke my wrist. I was off work for a long time and uh, So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I haven't been doing any videos. So anyways, I've got a uh, sort of a comparison video today. This is a um, this is a leather vest worn by uh, Finn in the movie Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So this is going to be a comparison. This, this jacket is from USA Jackets. I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can check it out. Um, and this is comparing it to the, the, the vest which is by uh, Film Jackets. And they are a little bit different and for those of you who follow Sir James he he has um, he's done a video on his version that he got from Film Jackets. So I wanted to get the one from the USA Jackets and just do a comparison because there's a bit a little bit of a, a difference between the two of them. So my apologies in advance for the for the sound. Uh, for some reason my um, my wireless uh, microphones aren't working, so I have to rely solely on the the microphone uh, on my iPhone. So let's get into this and we'll see what we got. So this just came in today from DHL. Um, I ordered back in the middle of June, the, um, June 29th. And it took a little while to, to make, so these are made uh, to order. So they don't just have them on the shelf and, and you get them, they just ship them out. But once it was ready to go, it took five days to get from... Pakistan to uh, Southwest Canada. So let's open this up and see what we got. I'm not going to use any scissors or knives to open this up because the last time I used that to open something I ended up slicing into what I was getting. So I'm just going to rip this open old fashioned way and see what we got. That's hard packaging. All right, let's see what we got. So it comes in a nice little carry bag. It says right there, USA Jackets. Both sides. You can see the packaging that comes in. This is looking pretty nice. Now I did order myself an extra large. I'm sort of on the cusp between a large and an extra large, but I decided to go with the extra large just because of my chest size. So my chest size is a 45. Uh, so that'll help you guys gauge for your sizing what you need. So nothing else is pretty much just like a like a zip up bag you'd have for a suit. So you can also order this with a shirt. I ordered mine without, but it almost looks like they sent it with a shirt. So there's an extra fifty dollars for the shirt. So let's see, I'm just gonna put this down for, for now. So yes, they sent me the shirt, which uh, I heard wasn't accurate to what Finn wore in the movie. So they gave me that. And then you have these gauntlets, which you would have on your wrist. So that was pretty nice of them to include that in there. Um, they did did say they were only going to be shipping just the jacket only because it didn't request the other one. So right off the bat, these look a little too tight unless I'm wearing it wrong way. But no, definitely too tight for my big fat wrists. <laughs> so, oh well. I'm sure maybe if I just stretch it. Yeah, maybe get away with that, right? Okay, so it comes with two gauntlets, a shirt, 
only if you order it. So let's get into the jacket or the vest. So real leather, super, super nice. And it's nice and light. It's not really super heavy. And comparing to the jacket from Film Jackets, uh, Sir James has on his jacket has a, a weird little pocket here. So big enough just to put your cell phone in. These have, and this is more accurate to the actual, um, to the movie, is Finn has these two little pockets where he has these little cylinder tubes in them. So I think I'm going to go on my 3D printer and see if I can find something to stick in there. And I'm sort of thinking some of the uh, cylinders that uh, Mando had on his uh, shoulder um, harness that he had for his weaponry. Um... So yeah, it feels pretty good. Some nice pockets. Let's try this on and see how it fits. Let's see how my sizing was. So again, these jackets, they don't have zippers. They're just freely open. And it is little, it's, it's perfect, I think, a perfect size. And I think it's just got to break it in because it's leather, right? So it'll take some time. So it does not have any side pockets. It's got one nice inside pocket here which goes pretty deep you put a cell phone in and it's got another pocket there pretty nice and around the back sides so i think it's a pretty good jacket and it's i've noticed with the jacket from um from film jackets it's, it's the dark brown like uh, finn had when he had pose jacket and and then throughout the years, they got a little weathered and it got a little lighter. And on the USA jackets, this jacket looked more like a gray, um, like a really weathered gray. But this is like a, a really weathered brown. So it's not, um, it's not that dark, dark brown like you see in the film jackets. So let me just try on, just for curiosity, this shirt because it's... Uh, I'm kind of curious because I was sort of thinking about it after. I'm like, well, you know, I should have asked for the shirt. But then I was reading that somebody's review saying the shirt wasn't even close to being accurate for the movie. But I've never really paid attention. So I'll let you guys be the judge. And then you can uh, leave it in the comments section and, and tell me what you think. And again, I'm sorry if you have troubles hearing me on this video. Um, I just don't have that microphone system set up. And I think, I think this just goes open. I th yeah, just like that. But I have, like I said, I haven't, I never really paid attention to the videos. And, and then this goes just like this. Hard to get all this on when it's bunched up in the in the fabric, but no, that's pretty that's pretty tight. And then this one, I think that's the right way. I'll have to go back and reference some of the photos um, just to see. But no, definitely, if you have bigger arms, you're gonna have a tough time putting these on but I'm thinking maybe put this on first do up the velcro and then shove them up right <laughs> and it's still pretty tight but I'm wondering if that the leather will loosen over time and it might just get easier to put on okay so there's those on and then let's put this on And these buttons really suck. <laughs> They're really loose. So, anyways, the shirt's kind of a kind of garbage, but uh, I guess it's all right. Maybe I can see what I can do to make it look a little nicer. But the gauntlets, oh my god, they're pretty nice. Not that I would ever wear this out like this. Maybe in the bush. I don't know. We'll see. So, anyways. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, let, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And I'll put a link to uh, 
uh, James's uh, uh, his video on his vest and his review he did on the uh, film jackets version. And again, this is the US uh, USA jackets version. And let me know. Go watch that video. Come back and drop a drop a comment in there. See what you think about uh, about the which vest you like the best. And um, yeah. So again, uh, hit that like button, that subscribe if you want to see some more videos and get notifications. Until then, take care. Hey guys, uh, so anyways, I haven't posted the video for my initial review on this uh, this vest from, uh, Finn's vest from The Rise of Skywalker. So I decided to do another video after having an opportunity to wear it for a while and put it through its tests. And so here's just kind of a, my review after my initial review which I haven't even posted yet that's why it's at the end of this video so it's been about a month now since I've shot the initial video when I re when I received it and I've had an opportunity to wear it and I have to say I like it a lot it's it's pretty rugged um, initially first these collars they were really super stiff but after wearing it for about a week or so it started to, to soften up a bit which was really really nice some things in my initial video that I didn't cover were the pockets on the front. Sorry about that. So it's got some weird pockets. It's got this little sideways pocket here. Not, you could fit just kind of the palm of your hand in there. Can't really fit much. I put my cell phone in there. Maybe it'll fall out. But I think mostly just stick papers in there. This has got a flap here. Um, there's no pocket in there. This is strictly just for looks. There is a zipper pocket right here. I don't use it because I just find the zipper's kind of a pain to tuck in between there, but you could use it for whatever, you know, your choice. Um, it does have inside pockets. Now, that's really nice. It's handy. I put a lot of stuff in there when I need them. Um, yeah. So, other things that I didn't cover really too much were these side things. And I did do some research, and on the screen news jacket, these aren't sewn in at the bottoms. Uh, they're solid through so I had thought about altering it taking the stitching out and just cut it to make it more screen accurate but because I'm using this mostly for my hunting vest I thought it was great because I can put an extra shotgun shell just in the, the bigger one and then I can put my rifle uh, bullet right in the other one and it's perfect so when I'm out hunting I could just get out of the vehicle, I can just grab the shell that I need for whatever I'm, I'm, whatever my hunt is, put it in my firearm, and away I go. So it's good for that. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is, a, this is a great, great vest, and I absolutely love it. And once again, this is from USA uh, Jackets, and I'll put a link uh, to the jackets in the description below, as well as the, the review from... Uh, film jackets that uh, Sir James had done. So there you go. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer any questions that you have. And don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. All right, take care.